Hello, my name is Jonathan Schwartz, PhD candidate at the University of Michigan, and today I'll be discussing how we can observe the real-time 3D visualization of nanomaterials as data is dynamically collected from the microscope. Real-time tomography allows for immediate characterization of 3D specimen structure as early as 33% of the process, and a fully reconstructed tomogram is available upon completion of the experiment. As I'm showing on the left, the volume quality improves as more projections are collected. This real-time analysis framework is fully integrated into TomViz, an open-source cross-platform tool that contains intuitive GUIs enabling any scientist to efficiently characterize material systems throughout the experiment and accelerate the end-to-end -end process of materials investigation. The general pipeline for tomography is composed of five stages. First, we experimentally collect projection images of our sample. After all the data has been collected, the following steps are performed offline on a dedicated workstation. The tilt series is pre-processed, reconstructed, and the volumes manipulated prior to visualizing the final product. However, this reconstruction stage is the most computationally and time-demanding step, especially for projection images composed of 2K by 2K pixels and above. These reconstruction algorithms can easily take hours to days to complete. Tomographic reconstruction algorithms are divided into two main categories, iterative and analytical-based methods. Analytical methods such as weighted back projection are computationally inexpensive, resulting in short construction times due to its non-iterative nature and smaller number of operations. These methods, however, require a lot of projections that contain high signal-to-noise. Here, I reconstructed a cobalt diphosphate nanoparticle with mixed Gaussian and Poisson noise. You can see the reconstruction suffers from the lack of information as the structure is hidden behind noise artifacts. Alternatively, iterative methods inspired by compressed sensing such as total variation minimization is an ideal approach for solving underdetermined systems as they produce regularized solutions for undersampled data. TVMIN outperforms weighted back projection by recovering the full structure and removes speckle noise. However, the times for these reconstruction algorithms will quickly scale as the volume size grow, and will likely need to run multiple times in order to determine optimal parameters. Now, while the current trend consists of reconstructing the data long after the experiment is complete, why don't we begin the reconstruction while we're currently operating the microscope? That is, simultaneously begin the arduous computation in parallel as we're collecting projections across the full angular range. We have addressed this challenge by integrating a live visualization feature into our tomography platform, TomViz. Here, the real-time tomography workflow is demonstrated on a chiral cadmium cysteine nanoparticle, which contains strong tunable chiral optical properties due to a twisted geometry. This real-time tomographic process runs simultaneously and continuously while the microscope is operated. New projection micrographs are automatically appended into the reconstruction process, and we see as more data is collected, the overall quality improves. At 20 minutes or 40% completion, we can begin characterizing fine features, and a fully reconstructed tomogram is available as early as 30 minutes into the experiment. This means scientists can quickly investigate 3D nanostructure during imaging to guide experiments and redefine scientific objectives. We now demonstrate a video of the real-time tomographic experiment occurring as I conduct a process on the cadmium cysteine nanoparticle. Here, I collected about 70 projections across a plus or minus 70 tilt range with 2 degree tilt increments and reconstructed the volume with CERT, the simultaneous iterative reconstruction technique. There are three computers present in the microscope room. First, my laptop on the left, which is running TomViz. The center controls the microscope and the large monitor is displaying the reconstruction. I'm freely able to rotate and visualize the intermediate product as the experiment proceeds. Since we're only at 33% of the experiment, only a minimal amount of information is available. However, even at this stage, we're already to discern general morphology. I can observe similarities between the 2D projection images and intermediate reconstruction to begin drawing scientific hypothesis of my specimen. While the experiment is ongoing, I can easily discuss the intermediate progress with any collaborators in the room. Now let's continue and collect more projections. At 50% completion, we can observe substantially more features. I can already assess the specimen's chirality, characterizing it as a right-hand twist, and measure the petal width and length along the edge of the nanoparticle. Not only so, I can also seamlessly sl slide between 2D slices.
I can also select multiple visualization modules. or observe its volumetric structure with shaded ISO contours. Now let's quickly collect the remainder tilts. Upon experimental completion, we have a beautiful and fully constructed tomogram available for further analysis. The real-time visualization capabilities on TomViz is not merely limited to online applications, but is actually a viable tool to assess quality offline. On TomViz, we can display live volumetric updates for non-iterative algorithms as they occur slice by slice. Here I'm demonstrating weighting back projection of platinum nanoparticles on carbon nanowire. This video sped up faster than the actual computation. These volumetric updates are provided along the direction parallel to the rotation axis, and we see more structure become visible as the reconstruction goes towards completion. Tomvis contains real-time functionality for any iterative algorithm, including CERT. Here is a CERT demonstration for 512Q cobalt diphosphate hyperbranch nanoparticle reconstructed for 100 iterations. We see the reconstruction begins with a loose estimate consisting mostly of low frequency information. As the computation be exceeds beyond 50%, finer structure becomes visible. As we pass 80%, we cannot visually see any differences per iterate, and we can safely assume we're close to converged. TV-MIN, an algorithm inspired by compressed sensing, requires correct estimation of the data tolerance parameter, represented on the top as epsilon. Often these parameters are determined from guessing, checking, and resetting the computation. The real-time visualization feature integrated in TomViz allows users to immediately diagnose the tomogram. Here I'm highlighting the consequence of over-selecting epsilon for an iron platinum nanoparticle, collected by Miao and collaborators, producing a reconstruction that's over-smooth and losing high-frequency information. Users can terminate the computation early and quickly hone in on optimal tolerances. TomViz also contains novel dynamic compressed sensing integrated within the software. Here, a real-time simulation is demonstrated on a strontium titanate nanocube decorated with gold nanoparticles. Projections here are generated along a plus or minus 75 tilt range with 2 degree tilt increments, matching the experimental conditions from the real-time experimental demo. We can observe that the rooming square error descends downwards with a staircase-like pattern indicating more projections are available. The incorporation of new information continuously drives the RMSC down and the error converges as early as 70% of the experiment. TomViz is a cross-platform tool that runs across all operating systems and is entirely open source. It is one package that can be easily implemented on rudimentary TMs available at most institutions. The software contains an easy-to-use graphical interface that allows users to select multiple visualization modules and track the progress of the computation. During the reconstruction, users can zoom, rotate, slice, and segment the object to highlight regions of interest as the algorithm runs independently. More importantly, TomViz consists of self-contained packaging, with a majority of algorithms written in Python, allowing researchers to share reproducible pipelines with collaborators. In conclusion, I've shown that real-time visualization of electron tomography is now possible using TomViz. In the actual software, 3D visualizations are dynamically updated in parallel with the computation. Continuous feedback enables high throughput and provides early diagnosis of 3D specimens as researchers can identify new scientific questions during experimentation. I'd like to take a moment to thank my collaborators at Argonne National Lab and Kitware, Jacob P.I. Traga and my advisor Robert Hubden at the University of Michigan. I would also like to thank funding from the Department of Energy and the Army Research Office. I'll be available in the chat to take any questions and thank you for your time.